State testing goes digital, a creative solution for school traffic, bowling is back at the woods, and our cheer program shines bright. Welcome to Cypress Woods High School, home of the Wildcats. You're watching C-Dub Today. Welcome back, Wildcats, to our December episode of C-Dub Today, where the AVP1 students take over. I'm Dutch Torres from C-Dub Media, bringing the latest of what's happening here at the woods. This year, CFISD students will be required to take STAR exams online. Although this is a change, they are receiving guidance on the new process. The Texas Education Agency, also known as the TEA, announced in January of 2021 that all students would begin taking the STAR test online for the 2022 to 2023 school year. This will be a significant change to what students are used to. The online STAR EOC is completely different than the paper-based version. There are more interactive questions, so instead of a question with four multiple choice answers, a student might have fill in the blank where they've got a drop-down menu to choose answers from. Although there have been some concerns, students have had a positive perspective about the change. I feel like the online EOC will be different because you have to like answer all the questions online and you won't have to like fill out the answer sheets and all that. Take less time. Teachers can also see the benefit to making the switch to online testing. I think the benefit of taking the test electronically is because it's a lot more um, familiar to students now. A lot of students have some sort of literacy in online learning and online aspects of test taking and doing it online can sometimes ease the struggle that they have. The new process will begin next semester when students take their EOC exams. Reporting for CW Media, I'm Connor Gravett. Construction for the new bus depot, located by Cy Woods High School, has caused parking issues for students. However, administration from the school has worked hard to find a solution. I, I'm actually the AP that's over transportation, so coordinating with that supervisor and making sure we get the buses out in a timely manner made it a seamless transition. Just hanging back at least an extra three to four minutes helps the buses out big time. The new bus depot will cut down on travel time to pick up buses for extracurricular activities. It is gonna be a godsend for the athletic department. Uh, for the coaches won't have to travel so far to be able to go pick up the buses. They can just walk. After a one year hiatus, bowling is back at the woods. I saw my IPC teacher, he had, he had a flyer. He's like, uh, I have a bowling flyer and does anybody wanna try it out? Students are excited to have this opportunity again. I feel very happy bowling's returning Bowling's my passion. I love bowling very much. Ever since the high school team bowling opened up, I was ready to join. And now to Trinity Calhoun for our feature segment, The Spirit of 212, in which we take a look at how 212 shines throughout our community. Supporting our Wildcats is a huge part of the power of 212. Our cheer program showcases this 212 effort with their amazing spirit. I love being able to cheer on all the other Wildcats and be involved in the school. There's a lot of behind the scenes work. We paint signs to hail in the school. We come up with spirit days. We go to everything and it really gives you a great opportunity to really get involved in the school. I love the family and community because everyone's super nice. Again, as I said, we're constantly with each other, varsity especially. Cheerleaders are important to the school because they just contribute a big factor of spirit and just the cheerleaders on the team do a lot. I mean, it's a really fun organization. We have a sisterhood and a bond. Our girls are close, we are tight-knit, whether it be being front row on the sidelines of a football game or being in a pep rally. We like hype everyone up, like stunting and tumbling. It takes a lot of effort to do that. I would tell them don't be scared and just try out. It's a little nerve-wracking for sure, but the chance of being on this team is worth it. That's all for this episode of C-Dub Today. Don't forget to follow our Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can also keep updated by subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'm Trinity Calhoun. Thanks for watching C-Dub Today as we strive every month to go the extra degree.